I also have a very special guest sitting next to me, a strong advocate for young people driving change. Please welcome Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Thank you, V, for the very, uh, the very warm welcome. It's a pleasure to be here today celebrating the incredible achievements of young people who embody the spirit of the Diana Award. V, I'm especially honoured to have the chance to speak with you again. Your dedication to equality and justice has inspired many, including myself. Thank you. The feeling truly is mutual. Changing the world must be a collective global effort with everyone playing their role and utilising the platforms that they have. Well, sometimes it's easy to question one's ability to make a difference, and your point about change for the better as a collective force is so important. When someone steps up to be of service, they automatically join this collective. No one is ever a conduit for change alone. Each one of us has the ability to help create a more equitable world, and the brilliant award recipients we're honouring today are proof of that. They exemplify the notion that when we use our voices, change really can happen. And I completely agree that the world is a challenging place to navigate, but my strength comes from knowing that my voice can change things for the better. A strength shared with all the award recipients being recognised today. Absolutely, Evie. Your voice is a powerful voice. As we come together, I am reminded of the profound belief that my mother held in the transformative power of young people. She recognised their unique ability to challenge the status quo and push for a more inclusive and compassionate society. Her legacy continues to inspire and serve as an example of how to navigate the complexities of the whole world today. And so many of the numerous challenges that we face disproportionately affect young people and, of course, their futures. And whether it's climate change, mental well-being or systemic injustices, the obstacles can sometimes seem overwhelming. But what gives me hope is the collective power we possess when we work together, the strength in diversity of voices and perspectives that encompass it. And you're absolutely right. Thank you for all that you do to help elevate our voices and champion our work. from my charity work in Canada and around the world. The theme of my project is social action. All of the proceeds of my first book, Flamingo Feet, go towards a charity called Positive and Progressive Educational Support Canada, which is a charity for young girls in India who don't have access to education. What inspired me to write my book was a few years ago when I visited India for the first time. I saw how unfortunate so many of the girls were and I knew I wanted to help. Another reason I wrote my books was because of anti-bullying. When I was younger, I used to be bullied and I knew what it felt like to be bullied. And I knew that this was an important topic that had to be talked about. I wanted to help spread awareness about anti-bullying and help kids learn to deal with bullying. Wow, what an incredible first half of our ceremony. Mm -hmm. 